Hello everybody and assalamu alaikum. In today's video, it is Cheektober Day 12. I apologize for the late upload of Day 11. I wasn't feeling it editing wise. I wasn't feeling it drawing wise either, but I really wasn't feeling it editing wise. So, I took a break. Today's prompt is... Cute teapot! Fun fact, I'm slightly obsessed with tea. So much so that I bought an entire holiday collection of 60 teas <laughs> for myself. <laughs> this was back when Tivana was an actual store. I don't know if they have any physical locations anymore. But that, that was when that was. And I have an idea. We might go with our first sketch on... Excuse you. We might go with our first sketch on this one because I have a, a good idea. Apologies for the silence. I also don't mean to put like hearts on everything, but it's kind of like my thing. I used to have this doll, you know, t since I'm sitting in, I have time to talk. I used to have this doll that sung the I'm a Little Teapot song. My brother got it for me for my birthday. Why don't I know how to draw spouts? I feel like it looks weird. It used to sing the song, and then it would giggle afterwards, and the giggle was such a very specific giggle. I think I made it worse. <laughs> it was a very specific giggle that just, I don't know, man, it haunts me. Like, I still remember it. If this is one, then that means the face would be... Like that. I'm gonna have the eyes lower on the face. Fun tip put eyes lower on the face to make things cuter. It makes their head seem bigger, which is a child trait. Big eyes, big head, and eyes low on the face. Also, round features make things look angry. I mean, not angry. <laughs> Brown features make things look more cute. I think I'm gonna try something. Okay, no, wait. There we go. There we go. That was what I was going for. I actually, where does this fall? 
would it be terrible to just draw her right here? Because I like this sketch a lot. that heart is too big or should I like actually make an effort to draw her in her proper place that's quite adorable if I do this I won't be using a lot of colors because like when I think teapot I think like white porcelain type deal Although the teapot and tea set that I have is actually red, but it's, it's not the point. <laughs> That's not the point at all, I guess. I guess I can do a bigger one. One thing that I really like about uh, me doing this is that I'm going to do it head on this time. Is that I have gotten better at being more deliberate with my sketching lines. Like I don't make... Oops. I don't mm, draw nearly as many lines as I used to. Like, my sketches used to be ridiculous. Okay, this is going to be a much easier way to divide. Yeah. I've been up for a while, so my energy is up. And more importantly, I've been up doing things for a while, so my energy is really up. Obviously, still can't draw a proper spout. Don't know what that's about, but okay. We're just gonna go with it. So cute. There we go. Now for the eyes. Well, let's draw the little mouth in the middle. I often think about how my two styles that I draw in are so different from each other. Like, I guess you would call this my chibi style. The left eye is bigger than the right eye. Look at that. You just need some eyebrows. Mm. 
That's cute. You can't tell me it's not. What does this need though? This is missing something. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's because we added the little on the bottom. Now the design is a little bit unbalanced. Unless I did the design here. That is not the same design, but we're going to pretend like it is. Was that what it was? Is that why it seems so imbalanced? Uh... Let's see. What did I do up here? Um... I could just do little loopy loops. I think that balances it. I think that's good. I'm gonna pick out the colors. That's not pink, that's peach. Do I even have a peach marker? Or is that orange? Uh, I know for sure that the eyelids are going to be a solid color. But if the eyelids are solid color, that means I'm going to need to have something very dark or contrasting for the actual eyes. Eh. This is going to be for the little twilly design. Twill. That, that's a weird word. My video on the other end of the room has uh, finally exported. So, give me a sec. I have no idea what's going on with my camera. It's doing some weird things right now. I've dropped in quality because my camera does not want to handle its business. So, <laughs> let's see. Hearts, eyebrows, pupils. Yeah. Um, I might, I might color a little bit of this because I see some stuff that I would like to make yellow. I think I want to make the base and the lid yellow. Ooh, which means I can make the eyelids yellow too. I'm going to make the eyelids yellow. Which means I need this. And then... The rest of it, I'm gonna like outline in like a blue because I want to leave it white. That's That's too bright. Maybe use a sharpie. Ah. 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 Can't get it over. Oh gosh. Oh, that's still too dark.
maybe a purple. Anybody remember that commercial is like, oh, I want like a purple, but more like a purple. Was that like a Valspar commercial? All of these are too dark for what I want. Did they even make a pain that light? Probably not. <gasps> Insane. I believe this is going to be our color palette, so let's hop into it. Thank you. 